Yo, what is going on, guys? Episode number 22 of the Deacon Street. We're starting this episode off with a bang by adding Pavel Bure to the team, we're replacing him with Stasny, who's been really, really good, but we're deciding to add some speed to this team. So, Pavel Bure, welcome to the Deacon Street. I want to go where the lights are low and the dreamers are chasing. I want to live like we don't know much, but we know we're going to make it. I'm living front row, y'all can take the mezzanine Backseat chillin', treatin' life like it's a magazine Seventeen and makin' money, with no doubt I had a crush on Gwen Stefani You no doubt, like I woke up inside a new Bugatti Let's roll out, nobody told me this was just a hobby You know now, but if you didn't then you probably woulda got it I remember breaking even, now we at it, making profit I ain't tryna take the throne, but baby give me options Like I'm Geno Smith, I tell him do it on your own Me and Keena did, and now we tryna take the road less traveled Cause sometimes the best shit Secret to so take you always, cause we don't need it. I'm doing it my way, so don't repeat it. And if you say it's just a dream, I don't feel it. You wanna take me down a notch, but this is more appealing. Like, I got the type of life that no one trying to mess with. You got the Michaela Maroney bitches ain't impressed with. I wanna go. After adding Pavel Burry to the team, I feel like our team's pretty much good. I mean, our team's been scoring goals. We've been playing pretty good defense. Miller's been good. I mean, there are a few things maybe we could change. I think our defense could get a bit stronger, but as you can see right here, we're starting off strong with a goal from the defense and to go up 1-0 halfway through the first period, but that was shortly lived after he ties it. With five minutes left in the first period, we make a nice little play to Semen, and Semen would score to give us a 2-1 lead, and in the middle stages of the second period, Semen has the puck again, sees Hansel, and he scores to make it a 3-1 game. At this point, I felt pretty confident in our lead, because our goalie's been good, but no defense there is leaving Miller out to try making it 3-2, and again, just kind of abysmal defense just all over the place. Luckily, he doesn't score. Pavel Bure does pick up the puck, and he just skates through one, two, and shoots and i mean yeah not the prettiest of goals but it went in so i'll take it so we get a nice goal right there and that would be 4-2 we go on the power play ryan kessler wins the face off to fanuf fanuf bombs it home knocks the water bottle down another goal by the defense which is nice i want to see more goals by our defense but some of them aren't the best at shooting so it is nice to see them score a goal here and there burry makes a nice little move right there spinorama throws it back to the point no goal there but kessler does pick up the puck when it is 5-2, Kane just takes a shot there, not the greatest of shots, it wasn't even going that fast, but it does beat whatever goalie he had in to make it 6-2. Kane with some nice little moves right there, sees Burry, does not hit it with his stick, it hits off his skate, and after reviewing the play, this goal would count, and it would be 7-2 I think, something like that, and it was Burry's second goal of the game I think. He started the game off by getting it 1-0 and now he makes it 7-2 so we win that game obviously the guy doesn't come back and miller's got some pretty good stats his record again it's really messed up when the other person quits then he gets a loss some reason still which is very frustrating i don't know how that's not fixed yet apparently it has been fixed but i don't know i mean these this these uh recordings are from probably like two or three maybe four weeks ago but we're gonna scramble everything in and try to get up to date as fast as we can by throwing up as many episodes as we can but Anyway, if we move into this next game, a nice little face-off win, nice little passing play, and just a beautiful snipe right there from Angelo to make it a 1-0 game. Again, our defense is chipping in. I think that's three or four goals from the defense in the past two games. And not a very good play right there, but a great defensive play. And then it just, it's it scrambles. I don't know what happened there. It was a great defensive play. The guy does come back to tie it. 1-1. And this game would go to overtime, and then overtime nothing would happen like usual. And then we would go to the shootout, which I don't know. I mean, I think I lost the last one, but overall, I've been really good in shootouts this year. Again, 
it's not that hard to be good in shootouts if you just know the goal to score you're good because you don't play goalie which i think they should have the goalie aspect but i'm not sure they don't anyway a terrible move right there from us from bobby ryan to start it off we went out too far and took the low too long to shoot you have to just do a quick backhand forehand or forehand backhand and most of the time it goes in which he did not do that either there he waited too long Anyway, Patrick Kane is going to try to make it a 1-0 lead for us, and he does. Goes backhand again. Sorry about those goals, but in the shootout, I mean, there's nothing really else more to expect. It's a breakaway. If you want to score in the breakaway, that's your greatest chance of scoring, so why not do it if you want to win? And I'm pretty sure I want to win. Anyway, he misses his third shot, and we win the shootout 1-0, and I believe the game we won 2-1. That's the thing. We win Division 4, so now we are finally in Division 3, so this is the big boy leagues. Division 3, 2, and 1, and I can't wait to get to Division 1, and I'm pretty confident I will. We swept that division basically 6-0-1, oh, picking up a possible 13 points out of 14, and we outplay the guy, and we go into this next game with Varlamov, who has pretty bad stats everywhere. No shutouts, 6-5 record, which again, the record thing is not too great, but a 3.54 goals against average, I was like... I was feeling pretty confident in this game. I was like, maybe we could score a bunch of goals against him. But we start out pretty bad, as you can see right there. I think that might be Havla. I don't think so. I think this kid had a really good team. I'm not sure who scored, but he makes it 1-0. And then in the third period, he sweeps that one in to make it 2-0. And I was just, I was, I was shocked. His goalie had such bad stats, and we couldn't manage to get anything on the board, really, in the first two periods. And then in the third period, right after he scores, Patrick Kane would just snipe it, but... Again, just not enough from our team. We lose the game 2-1 after looking at his goalie and just thinking this is going to be an easy win, and we start out Division 3 with a loss. We opened these two free packs. Again, not expecting anything. I don't think I've gotten anything good out of them since the schemes came out. I don't even think going back to last year I've gotten anything good. So I was not expecting anything in this. We get 2,000 coins, so I'm like, okay, that's that's good. We get some contracts. That's good because actually running any contracts, I play this game a lot. Well not that much but i mean when i do play like i'm this year it's all playing the game when i go on last year it was working the market selling things this that this that this game for the xbox one anyway it's just when i go on i usually just play games i don't really work the market anymore but anyway those contracts are nice and going into this pack i was like come on maybe an 88 89 overall player i don't think fiddler is the 89 overall player i was looking for but again we get like five more contracts nothing really else and we're going up against Corey crawford with and all rate right, goals against average, definitely a lot better than uh, Varlamov, but as you can see, we scored one goal against him, so going into this game, we needed a win, we can't go 0-2 to start Division 3, we needed to start this game off strong, and we gotta play good defense, because last game, and just the past few games, I make a stupid defensive play here and there, and sometimes that's the reason between a win and a loss and this time pavel Bure makes a nice little breakaway move and just scores with a speed not a nice move but i mean he uses his speed to get through like three players and scores not a really great goal from kessler but i'll take it and make it two nothing and patrick kane on the breakaway can make it three nothing and he does again not a really good goal none of the goals are really great but three breakaways he gave up and three goals i scored so those are huge in this game breakaways especially if you know how to score them so Makes it 3-1 at that point with 30 seconds left in the first period. And we're going to try to squeak a 4-1 win, 4-1 lead. And Patrick Kane again, basically a breakaway. Makes it 4-1. Miller makes a good save, and I dump it right out to him right there. I, I don't know what I was doing, but definitely 135% my fault. Makes it 4-2, makes it 4-3. And I'm just sitting there like, why did I throw the puck out at that moment? With three seconds left, he gets the shot. And... It doesn't really squeak on through, but he gets the shot by, but it doesn't really go, because I believe Pietrangelo blocked most of that shot, but whew, we squeak away with a win. Again, not a great game by me. Terrible second goal. I just gave it to that guy, and he scored, but we do get the win there. Miller's stats have went down a bit, but he's winning games still, which is nice. I want to get to that 920 save percentage, but that's pretty good, and Division 3 now, people are going to be a bit better. Anyway, Bobrovsky, similar stats to Crawford, 1-1. One and one. I don't know why everyone's records are so bad. Maybe everyone keeps trying out new goalies for Division 3. But we start off this game with about a minute and a half in. Kessler makes a nice little move, snipes it, and it goes in. I mean, 
not getting the greatest goals, but I mean, they're not just backhand, forehand. Well, last episode they were, well, last game I meant to say they were, but look at this nice little part there. He doesn't get anything by, but Bruner makes a nice little play. This guy's been, I really like him, but he just doesn't score for me, sadly, but he makes some really nice moves. He's pretty quick, just doesn't score. Anyway, Reinhardt would luckily get the puck in back in the net right there. I don't really know how, but he gets it in. Kessler's trying everything to get it in, and I think it went off his skate or something. He just threw it in and it goes in to make it 3-1 and then that's a nice little player right there to finish off from Patrick Kane and it's 4-1 and that would be the end of this game if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and I will see you guys next time